Hey guys, Ryan Middle here blogging from Paradise. Paperwork. Over my shoulder. If you are thinking about building a blogging empire, you know, you're all caught up in this idea of getting as many list subscribers as possible because somebody told you you need a bunch of subscribers to build an empire to really do the full-time bit to make money the list the money's in the list the list is in the money the list of money you're together you're gonna blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and the key the key thing to remember is i'm seeing jackie the uh jackie the jackal jackie the jacket to my right go nuts Perhaps doggy is that uh most of what you think in your mind logically what it takes to build an empire, especially when it's coming from a low energy place or from a place of fear, and almost all the advice you read online is coming from a place of fear. Some of the stuff I published included, you know, we're human, is bullshit. <laughs> it's like there's this heavy focus on trying to impact as many people as possible in as little amount of time, and the driver for that is pure manipulation. It's trying to get as much as you can in the moment. And anytime you move from love to anywhere, like if you're doing things with love, authentically, in the moment, one-to-one, -one, you're moving to a place of fear. I don't know why that signifies fear, but that's what's going to signify today. So when you move towards fear, you're going to do things like trying to manipulate to build your online empire, your blogging empire. You're going to do things like trying to convince, convert. Well, it's all force field. It's fear field. So, guys, what do you do if you want to build an online empire through your blog? How do you build a blogging empire? And it's a real simple formula. And it's really kind of easy, too, when you see how well it works. And I'm, it's just easier. It's easier to do it this way. But, again, you do it one human being at a time. That's it. That's the formula. One human being, you show them love at a time. Wherever you're meeting people online. <clears throat> wherever you're fostering relationships. And when you do it, <clears throat> what happens is you're going to make an impact on almost all people you connect with. Because it's not going to be hurried. It's not going to be rushed. And you're not really trying to manipulate them. And that's the effect you have on people. You're not doing it to try to with all your heart and soul, and not even the heart and soul, but with all your energy, you're trying to make them do something, to become something, a customer, trying just so hard to make them your friend or make them a fan or make them a list subscriber, or convert, or all this other bullshit. You are just doing who you're meant to be. Probably doesn't make sense. <laughs> Although it does, because when you see all these like phenomenal empires, it's like, oh, they're so heartfelt, these people. They do everything one-to-one, -one, like people like Donna Merrill. She has love for every human being she comes across. And you can't make that up because you can't bullshit the universe. You can't fake out the universe. You can't fake out God. It just It's reading your energy and reflects back to you what you're putting out there. So if you want to build a blogging empire, like, you're like I'd really like to build something huge, you do it one human being at a time through blog comments, through Twitter responses, through Facebook responses, through helping people, and it's one-to-one, -one. <clears throat> and you do it through love. It's one thing just to say, okay, I'm going to network with those people and do it one-to-one -one and really force and push and strive, but there's still fear there. Even people have manifest, who've created a lot of money and outward success, and if they're kind of happy, there's still a lot of fear in their campaign because they're hustling. And anytime you're hustling, you know what that means. You're afraid you're running out of time. And if fear's in there, you're not doing things from like almost, not pure love, but you want towards there where you're doing things like predominantly from a loving space where you're just in the moment you're not worried about the illusion time you're not worried about rushing you're not worried about letting people go immediately if they're not matches you're just doing things from that place of love that's how you build an empire a blogging empire because with each person you connect with human being using their name being authentic helping them just asking them if they need a tweet, commenting on their blog, sharing their post on Twitter, then doing this regularly with the same folks who become your tribe and you're in their tribe, and with new individuals you meet, and you'll be meeting them through email and through Twitter, slowly, 
and steadily, and in some cases a lot more quickly, because it's all, again, times the illusion, these folks are going to just big you up. They're literally going to shine back to you, reflect back to you the love you're giving them. And as the love comes back to you, promotions all across social media, people are going to gab all about you, your loan minions are going to really, really promote the piss out of you. Well, maybe not like that, but they're going to really promote you. Features, interviews, they'll buy your products, they'll buy your services, they'll, or they'll hire you for your services. Buy your courses, buy your ebooks, buy your audiobooks, hire you to write their posts. You'll get sponsored posts, you'll get advertising. These are all forms of love. Uh, you'll be featured on roundups, you'll be interviewed, podcasts. It's just endless. All this money and opportunities, and you'll get inspirational ideas from them, profitable ideas, prospering ideas. It'll also all keep flowing to you. And like, oh, how do people do that? Did they, did they build this list like 100,000 people? No. Some people do it that way, but you miss out. And the truly remarkable empires that make people like real, like, oh my God, how do you have this like loyal tribe? They just loved people, loved human beings one to one. It's like if we walked up to another person in a room right now and you showed them love and you gave them a hug, you shook their hand, you looked them eye to eye, and you had a conversation with them for a few minutes. That is exactly how you conduct yourself energetically with that same love online when somebody tweets your tweet. But meanwhile, you have a bunch of other bloggers who say, hey, and most bloggers, you know, Twitter's a waste of time. I don't get anything out of it. You're not getting any love out of it because you're not giving any love to it. You're not loving people one-to-one. You're not loving human beings and saying, look at my fucking Twitter stream, guys. Look at that stream. I go through sometimes for an hour to an hour and a half, and it's not hard work. It's love. This is exactly what makes things pop. How do you get, what do I have, 50,000 followers soon enough? How do you get 50,000 followers? Well, it was a real struggle for a long time, but the past couple, two, 3,000 has been like nothing. So if Ryan retweets me, if John Doe retweets me, um, I can do what I can. Maybe I don't respond to everything, but I go through for 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 minutes, an hour and a half, whatever. whatever I'm, whenever I'm feeling that love, and that's like every day, some time frame, I'm going to do that. And I say, John, thank you so much for tweeting me. Thanks, John. Thanks, John. And I just go through. And then you connect, and you engage, and you show love. And then this is how you get connected. This is how somebody appears to be connected on the platform, and all these people follow them, and their engagement rates are through the roof, and they're showing up in these tweets. I show love to human beings one-to-one. And it's not hard work. I did that as hard work, and it it didn't work. Because, again, it was the fear. So, guys, you want to build a blogging empire. You want to do something just so epic. And have fun and spread the love and just inspire people and help people, whatever niche you're in. You build a blogging empire, one human being at a time, by engaging with the human being, not in a rush. you got to be mindful because you have to do it with love. You do it with love. Help who you can. Some folks you may not be able to help, and that's okay too. You could release them. You know. We all know. We just do intuitively. But you got to do it from that place of love one to one guys gotta grab the phone leave me a comment below until next time you know what to do enjoy paradise